Nation, it is Thursday. My name's Philip DeFranco, and let's talk about some news. Because the internet's all about finding out what is the best thing ever. I mean, just think about it. When was the last time you typed in good hot dog? It's always like, best hot dog ever in LA. I have to have the best one. I can't just eat some rando hot dog. Then I look on Instagram, Greg posts a picture of the best hot dog in LA. I'm here looking like a schmuck. What am I doing with my life? I should just kill myself. I mean, how could I live with everyone knowing I'm the mid-tier hot dog guy? But I digress. When people aren't arguing whether you call them gifs or gifs, people are sharing them. Also, yeah. Yes, I pronounce it both ways so I could collectively piss off all of you. And so an award show is made at Jiffy.com to find out what are the best gifts on the internet. Internet type people then voted on all the categories and here are your winners for the internet in animals. Art and design. Can't look away. Cats. Music. Nature and science. News and politics. Sports. Throwback. Weird. And then of course at the end you have to have the best GIF on the internet and that was awarded to Obama riding a skateboard to shake a man. Man's hand. And from there, I want to share some stuff I love today and today in awesome, sponsored by 4humanpeoples.com. This week, FHP launched these five new designs, of course, only available for one week. Whichever sells the best will stay on site, which also means that all of our best sellers from the past few years still available on the site, so you can grab those as well. And of course, all the designs are created by artists from the nation for the nation to support the nation. And the first bit of awesome is that Will Ferrell is playing in five Major League Baseball spring training games today. Five Five games, 10 teams, all nine positions. And not only to honor Burt Campaneris, who played all nine positions back in 1965 during a regular season game, but also to film a special for HBO that isn't just about baseball, but is also heavily about raising money for and awareness for Stand Up to Cancer and Cancer for College, two organizations Will Ferrell supports. Then I have to link out to the amazing mashup I did not expect, which was the Princess Bride plus Game of Thrones. Keep in mind, if you're a worker, school, it does share the same rating as uh, Game of Thrones. And then there was something that's not awesome, but it's about someone who is awesome. And that is our BAMF of the day, Sir Terry Pratchett. Terry was the author of the Discworld series. He released over 70 books. That includes Good Omens, the Gnome Trilogy, and just tons more. The sad news is that he passed away today. We learned that from Twitter. Posted on the account, Pratchett shared with his longtime assistant, Rob Wilkins, tweeting, at last, Sir Terry, we must walk together. Terry took Death's arm and followed him through the doors and onto the Black Desert under the endless night, the end. And while it is sad because you have the passing of a man many people who don't overuse the word genius called genius, if a man's life is seen on his action and his creations, Terry will live for a very long time. Or as Terry put it before to paper, no one is actually dead until the ripples they cause in the world die away. Whether it be through his words, his novels, his bringing awareness to things like dementia, and that's why I'm including this in Today in Awesome, because I want to honor the man for being the BAMF that he was, and to show him as a shining example of we are what we create in this world. And that's how I'll close this today in awesome. If you want to check out more about Terry, anything else I talked about, of course, our secret links. Links is always down below. Then in weird local story that has now made national news, police in Akron, Ohio are searching for a serial pooper. But before you turn yourself in for having a healthy digestive system, not specifically just any pooper, but this male suspect who was photographed for the first time this week after terrorizing at least 19 cars with his anus since 2012. On top of actually doing it just on the hoods. It's been reported he has smeared it on windows before and occasionally the insides as well. Police are asking that if you do recognize this man, please to contact them. But uh, the best part of this is one, it's just a weird story. But two, no matter what this guy has done in his life before, this is it for him. Once you're caught, you're forever the car poop guy. You could be the guy that finds the universal cure for cancer. That's gonna be the second most notable thing about you. You're just the poop guy now. So congratulations to you, sir. Then a viewer requested story that you guys wanted me to cover was something that blew up on BuzzFeed. The article is called, What Happened When This Woman Ordered a Dress Online Captures the Online Shopping Struggle? And they show this dress. This is the model on the website. It's styled after a dress Jamie Alexander wore to the Thor premiere in 2013. And so this unnamed woman was like, I love that. I want that. They bought it. And when they tried on the outfit, it looked a little different on their body. So, uh, slightly different. But then I took the extra three seconds to go to the website to see, oh, is this woman trying to get angry? No, her review is actually, item has been received. 
The quality is very good, very sexy, the next will come again. And almost all the comments on the articles are like, oh, this stupid bitch, she's complaining? What an idiot. She's not! It's just this Javier Moreno guy going, hey, look at this bigger girl not looking like this skinny girl. Well, I would like to thank the people that sent me this story so I could talk about it and BuzzFeed for posting this article because then I found this website and oh my god, for me, this site is essentially softcore porn. But at the end of the day, it's essentially BuzzFeed body shaming this random woman who posted a review. If she's happy about it, why the hell do you care? If she was complaining about about it'd be a whole different ball game. I'd say, what do you expect? You and I are not professional models. I have to have realistic expectations about my body. I'm not gonna get angry when that Calvin Klein underwear looks different on me. No way am I gonna look like David Beckham in that thing that he's advertising. Personally, I say we should be more like this woman. This woman feels confident and sexy in her own body. She got some bomb ass pink slippers. Also, pro tip, there are a bunch of new services on the internet where you can just like order a bunch of clothes and they give you like one week and anything you don't like or doesn't fit properly you just send back. But the final point of this story is this is the most amazing website on the internet. And that's actually where I'm gonna end today's show. And thank those of you that watch, share, take part daily in the next 24 hours. I'll select one comment down below with a $100 Amazon gift card just as a little thank you. But of course, as always, my name's Philip DeFranco. You've just been filled in. I love your faces and I'll see you next time. Just me and my furry friend on a motorcycle. Me and my furry friend doing what we want. Me and my furry friend, we're gonna do stuff and buy stuff. I mean, fuck each other's butts. Giant. Torture. <laughs> Monsters. <laughs>